Thomas Cook has gone bust, but let's just make sure we're concerned about the right things. Most importantly, Darren and Helen. Yes, it's absolutely awful that you're trapped in Tunisia, getting funny looks at the buffet breakfast. I can't even eat my chips this morning. But most of us will have travel insurance and nearly all of us will be at all protected. Let's spare a thought instead for the 9,000 odd jobs that have been lost. And only a few weeks before Christmas. I'm sure it's friggin' horrible to have your last minute to Lanzarote cancelled. But do you really think Debbie, who works in Romford's Thomas Cook Travel Store, really gives a solitary shite? Yes, I was earning a minimum wage and barely making ends meet. And now we are going to have to have roast starling for Christmas dinner but the person I feel sorry for is Darren whose last minute Lanzarote package deal has been cancelled. He was planning on getting wanked off by a Moroccan hooker. Well that ain't gonna happen now. The other thing to stop doing people is blaming each other. Remainers, Brexit. I'm no bloody fan of Brexit. But now is not the time to jump on the divisive bandwagon and blame each other. Sometimes a company has just been poorly run by a bunch of money grabbing bellends. Some things don't have as much to do with Brexit as people think. Thomas Cook's books have been shagged for years, long before ham-faced pig shagging Cameron even thought of his shitty referendum. Shut up, Russell. Brexiteers are to blame for everything. Only this morning I tried to make my avocado toast, and my avocado was slightly brown. Now, are you seriously going to tell me the Brexiteers aren't to blame for that? I couldn't get my Sicilian lemon juice. Let's direct the blame at the correct target, the swinging furry testicles of the tabby fat cats that run Thomas Cook. Particularly the guy in charge of it, Peter Fankhauser, whose name literally translates as Pancake House. If only we could have found the 200 million pounds to bail out Thomas Cook, it would have been okay. Dude, you've been paid eight million quid in the last four years. I've got a suggestion for you to save Thomas Cook some money. Fuck off little cabal that run Thomas Cook have pulled out nearly 30 million in bonuses in the last few years. For what? The company's in 1.7 billion pounds worth of debt. Anyone else get a bonus when they perform like that? I wonder if the employees would have got their bonuses. My name's Debbie. I work in the Thomas Cook store in Rumford. And this year, whilst a customer was in the store, I thought I would expose my vag and did a ping pong show, getting myself arrested and the customer into therapy. Most excellent, Debbie. Here is a bonus for £20,000. I wonder what Boris's rescue plan might be. Ah, I've got a suggestion that we get a team of young prostitutes to run uh, Thomas Cook. That way, they're actually waiting to be fucked financially and otherwise everybody wins. Right, I'm off to the door doing to do wine tasting, which means I don't give a fuck about Thomas Cook. Remember, it's only working class people's holidays. <laughs> Aren't working class people musical once the karaoke starts? I did it my way.